<laughs> Rock. I know because I won both. <laughs> Rock, what is that playing in the background? It was, it was just a loop of me slamming the punk ass Republicans during the State of the Union. <laughs> Man, that was sweet. I know because I won both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that was sweet. But let me ask you about what? Why didn't you mention the Republican trick to screw over Social Security that they pulled last week? See, when I first read the line in the speech about me not having any more campaigns, I had a feeling they might start applauding. And I didn't pre-plan what I was going to say. I just left the channel open. Mr. President, you missed your chance to frame the issue about Social Security. The absolute best part was looking at John McCain's sad old face get red as his ass was after I whooped it in 2008. (laughs) He looked like he wanted to get his hands on me and reverse his stance on torture. I know because (laughs) <laughs> would, you, would you please stop playing that? I know because I won both. Uh, okay, I get it. You had a good line. Listen, the, the 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 TPP deal, trade deal. You said you wanted to sign it. Is actually it's actually a big lose for the American workers and the environment. Yet you couched it like it was a good thing. Is that because you knew the media would do their usual horrible job of reporting what's in the trade deal and how important it is and how it impacts our everyday lives? I mean, who do they think they're dealing with here? They see me at the correspondence dinners. They know I got the comedy chops. Don't put it on a platter. <laughs> I mean, Jimmy, the way they started applauding, it was, it was, it was like it was on cue. Because I won both of them. <laughs> okay, so, so you're going to sign a trade deal that screws over our own workers and manufacturers here in the United States. And yet you talked about the middle class economics. Care to explain what that is exactly? I mean, the beauty is that I, I did win both times. <laughs> I actually did beat them two times, so bam! Right in your stupid fucking ass white face. <laughs> so you're just, you're just going to talk about your slam, you're not, your heckler comeback, you're not going to talk about anything I else? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, I I are you there? And then, and then I'll nail the head turn. Just nail it. Oh, it just drop it and snap. The head pivots quickly to the opposite side of where it was pointed to to add extra disrespect. Did you see that snap? Please tell me you saw that head snap. <laughs> Kevin Hart don't have snap like that in his punchline. I got it like a motherfucker. Brock, seriously. Just bam. People thought our economy had a strong comeback. Then I dropped that beauty on their asses. I know because I want both them motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, you talk about our economies coming back, but, but the results of the rebound have been so uneven. While the stock market has soared, many of the middle class have been left behind. Wages are stagnant, and many of the new jobs created pay even less and have fewer benefits than the ones that are gone. I know because I want them both. <laughs> such a good heck would come back that Lindsey Graham was waiting for the bouncer to come tell him to keep his table talk down to a minimum. <laughs> You said you wanted a middle class economy. You wanted free community college, a tax on the one percent to fund a, fund a middle class tax cut. Yep, and we all know that because we have a Republican Congress. None of that shit's going to get done, except for the XL pipeline that I'm going to cave on and you know, shoot trade deal. So you know your <laughs> ideas aren't going to be implemented, but you still you're doing a victory lap. I know because I won both of them. <laughs> Brock, turn that off. <laughs> Sorry, <we> gotta go. <laughs> All right, that was President Brown.